Top students deny accusations of AI cheating after teachers flunk them. Insurance claims skyrocket following our summer of cyclones. And police set to keep a close eye on protests at Parliament today. At Maria, I'm Sherry Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Two students at Cambridge and Pukekohe High Schools have been accused of using AI to cheat on assessments, but both deny having done so. Both were accused after their assessments were ran through an AI detection website. The Year 13 student at Pukekohe High claims she was also dismissed by her teachers when she tried to show them the background work she did to complete the assignment. Academy EX Chief Executive Francis Valentine says we can't be too hasty in accusing students of cheating with AI technology. Usually with anxiety, when they know what ChatGPT is not using it and yet have been accused of using it, we've got to be very cautious. Surprise as a Labour Cabinet Minister appears to be jumping ship. TR Māori News reports that Customs Minister Mika Whātiri will stand as a candidate for the Māori Party in the Akaroa Rāwhiti seat. Whātiri will make a formal announcement today at Waipatu Marae in Hastings. There's hopes New Zealand can follow Australia's lead in smoking out recreational vapes. The Australian federal government is cracking down by banning non-prescription vapes and limiting the number of flavours and colours. The Asthma and Respiratory Foundation say vaping can impact people's lungs, hearts and the circulatory system. They want disposable vapes banned, the nicotine content reduced and a trimming back of stores. Our summer of storms has resulted in a 400% increase in insurance claims. Data from AIG's insurance brands State, AMI and NZI shows 41,000 claims from September to February's end, compared to just over 8,000 from the same time last year. Additionally, AA Insurance confirms it's received 13,000 claims from Auckland's floods and Cyclone Gabrielle. AIG Executive General Manager Wayne Tippett says the bulk of their claims are for motor vehicles, contents and homes. When it comes to motor claims, most of these are total losses if they've driven through floodwaters. So we're settling those quickly with customers. That's about 85% done and the rest of those are repairs. And both police and parliament security will be closely monitoring a Speak Up For Women protest at parliament today. The group that brought anti-transgender activist Posey Parker to New Zealand six weeks ago a meeting on Parliament grounds just after midday. A counter-protest is also planned. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more stories and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai te ra. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.